Uh, well, good morning. Uh, we're at the head, headquarters of BuzzFeed, one of the world's most popular viral news sites. And if anybody doesn't know what a viral news site is, afterwards see me, and I'll be happy to explain it. Uh, we are here to, I was before talking to some of the people upstairs, and I pointed out that uh, the age difference is such that my career when I was their age was before the invention of the PC or the Internet. So things clearly have changed a little bit since those days. But we're here to announce some steps we're taking to help connect New Yorkers to tech jobs and to help the city's booming digital sector grow even further. Coincidentally, BuzzFeed's editor-in-chief, Ben Smith, covered City Hall early in his career, and the people in the front row <coughs> know him very well. Uh, before he was a celebrated feature, celebra celebrity feature featured in the Sunday Style section of the Times. And I guess that explains why he thought today would be a good day to take a vacation. <laughs> that, and I wanted to go back and check and see what he wrote back then when he covered me. Anyways, of course, Buzz BuzzFeed is also famous for lists such as the 33 animal animals that you are extremely, that are extremely disappointed in you. Now, personally, I have a great relationship with animals, but you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, we wanted to show you five animals who are not disappointed in Maya Bloomberg. <laughs> um, even better than Lady Gaga. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Coming up. Well, the other one already has you. Uh, okay, I can't see that far. Uh, we don't always get along, but we find a ways to work together anyways. There we go. One. <laughs> and that's, there we go, Gaga. Uh, try running after a zebra in a full suit and loafers. Oh, wait, I missed one. Here I am shamelessly pandering to the penguin block. <laughs> penguins, we were at Steiner Studios, I think, and the penguins were in a movie. Uh -huh. What? Mr. Popper's penguins. Mr. Popper's penguins? Why don't you remember that? Okay. Uh, try running after a zebra in a suit and loafers, finally. That's next one. There we go. <laughs> and the last one, here I am in a Yankee game with one of Hollywood's biggest movie stars. Oh. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. All the people in the stands wanted to know why the cameras were there and why this guy was lying on the ground with his hands stuck up in the air. <laughs> Anyways, Buzz, BuzzFeed is just one of the many reasons why New York City is the hottest place in the tech universe. The number of employees at digital media companies have grown by 80 percent between 07 and 2011. Venture capital deals in city tech firms grew 52 percent from 07 to 12, while decreasing in most other regions of the country. And thanks in part to our, the steps our administration has taken to help companies grow and attract talent. I think it's fair to say there's simply no better place than New York City to build a digital business. But there's more that we can do to let these companies know about New York City resources and to make them uh, how they get uh, access to them and to let New Yorkers know about the job opportunities these growing companies are creating. Uh, we're spreading the word and hopefully drawing even more tech companies to the five boroughs by taking a couple of steps today. First, we're expanding the Made in New York campaign, which to date has applied to film and television productions that do 75 percent of their production in the city, to include tech firms. Now, digital companies that do at least 75 percent of their development in the five boroughs can certify as Made in New York, and I am wearing my Made in New York button. Uh, second, we're launching a multimedia campaign called We Are Made in New York to support the city's digital sector and connect tech firms with job seekers. At the center of this campaign is a new website, wearemadeinny.com. The site is accessible through nyc.gov, of course. The site pulls together a number of city resources for businesses and job seekers all in one convenient online location. For instance, the site will help entrepreneurs find and apply for the low-cost office space and employee training grants that the city's Economic Development Corporation offers. There are also links to assistance our Department of Small Business Services provides, everything from helping navigate permits and uh, requirements uh, to do business in the city to certifying that uh, their firms do business with the city uh, to the digital toolkit that helps businesses expand their online presence in the city. 
Uh, for job seekers, the site will incorporate the digital jobs map that's currently at mappedinny.com. The map will remain at that site as well. Uh, the map shows which digital companies are hiring, where they are located, and provide links, provides links to companies' websites. Visitors to the new website can also find where to go for free Wi-Fi access, where to sign up for coding classes, how to get a summer internship at a digital company, and much more. Since I'm going to be unemployed in 315 days, I'm starting to pay a little more attention to this now. <laughs> you never know. The third component of this initiative is a print advertisement campaign. These ads will appear online, on subway platforms and bus shelters, and on the side of buses and on monitors in taxis. Uh, they featured uh, employees of certified Maine and New York, in New York tech companies. The ads draw attention to the job opportunities at these companies and provide information about the new site. As the ads make clear, if you go to wearemadeinny.com today, you'll find more than 900 local startups currently hiring for about 3,000 jobs, and we're doing everything we can to connect New Yorkers to those jobs, and that includes steps that I mentioned in last week's State of the City address to give students and working adults the skills they need to fill those positions. This year, we're bringing computer science classes to 20 more schools. We've created a second academy of software engineering high school, and we're working with the tech industry, universities, and nonprofit sectors to develop an intensive computer science program for adults who want to learn IT skills. Today marks another step forward, and I want to thank the city's Office of Media and Entertainment for continuing to devise smart ways to help tech companies and job seekers, and that includes uh, Commissioners uh, Catherine Oliver and the city's Chief Digital Officer, Rachel Hout. And I also want to thank Ronald LeBreton for providing the creative design for the campaign. Media and Entertainment Commissioner Catherine Oliver is here to tell us all about it today. K.O., after you. Okay. Well, we created, we introduced the Made in New York program at the beginning of the administration. It was over 10 years ago. And the idea was to um, celebrate the creative community in New York City for film, television, commercial production. The logo, if you take a look at it, it was created by Radical Media, a New York-based branding company. And it looks like an old New York City subway token, so a little retro. And the intention was to really celebrate, to create a mark of distinction and to create a grand grassroots program where people in the creative community in New York could really be proud about what they were doing in our city. The words made in New York, you know, clearly have global appeal, uh, and this, this program took off and went viral. We're so proud that we can extend the use of the mark now to the digital and tech sector. Clearly, the traditional media industry is embracing tech strategies and finding new ways to create content, distribute content, promote content. And certainly every other sector is trying to wrap their head around their digital and tech strategy as part of their business plans. This is a creative, robust sector which is growing, and we're so proud that we can call this sector made in New York as well. I want to thank um, the team at the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment. They designed the whole campaign. That was all done internally on multiple platforms, as you will soon see. I uh, want to thank Commissioner Rob Walsh for his support in getting this program out to the community, understanding the needs of businesses, and want to thank all these entrepreneurs, some of our poster children here today. But more than that, just the spirit of, uh, you know, of warmth and engagement, intelligence Telling their stories and inspiring other entrepreneurs in our city. Thank you. K.O., thank you. We're also joined by the city's chief digital officer, Rachel Hout. Rachel, the floor is yours. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, we're incredibly excited to be here uh, today to roll out the We Are Made in New York campaign. And really, the origin of this and expanding and recognizing the evolving film and media world uh, was also inspired by the fact that we're constantly out there um, in New York City meeting with startups, speaking at industry events, and talking about the wide array of city programs that exist to support them. 
And one of the top things we always see and we always hear is that's fantastic. These are really great programs. And part of We Are Made in New York is about scaling that outreach and making sure that everyone in New York City has a clear path and clear opportunities to participate in the tech ecosystem and that people who may not even yet be in New York City are aware of the enormous opportunities that are afforded here. And it's truly about making it easier to navigate government and supporting the tech sector here in New York City. Another thing we think it's very important to realize is the incredible momentum of the tech sector here in New York. From Artsy to AppNexus, BuzzFeed to Birchbox, all of the companies up here and hundreds and hundreds more, there is truly a critical mass of companies here. And it's good to know that because it's important to try and experiment and try and iterate again when you're a startup. And it's good to know that if that gig doesn't work out or that startup doesn't work out, there are literally thousands of other opportunities that are available to you here in New York City. The website, of course, represents an economic development in initiative that brings together so many resources and programs, some of them run by the Department of Small Business Services, such as helping women and minority-owned businesses have access to um, grants and, and uh, government uh, contracts. Some of them also include funding of up to $400,000 to fund training for your tech company to help take you to the next level. It also includes access and links to free computer classes that can help any novice to learn how to use the internet and how to participate in this world. And it's truly remarkable, the programs at SBS, the programs at the Economic Development Corporation, which also include now entering into its second phase soon, uh, the fiber build-out competition that will connect for free many, many dozens of companies to fiber broadband connectivity and help to increase productivity at these companies, as well as a range of uh, affordable workspaces and, of course, new academic programs at Cornell Technion and the new Data Sciences Institute at Columbia and at NYU Poly. So there is a lot there, but I encourage you to check it out yourself at wearemadeinnewyork.com, accessible through nyc.gov. And finally, of course, what better way to introduce We Are Made in New York to the world than to have New York City's entrepreneurs tell that story themselves through the words um, and images um, and videos that really represent who they are. Because it truly is inspiring, and there is perhaps no greater story than to hear firsthand from an entrepreneur. So you will be seeing these images from buses to subways, um, also online through a range of all New York City-based digital media outlets. And for any tech company that would like to participate, this is, in the spirit of the internet, a truly interactive campaign. So anyone can tweet or post a Tumblr post with the hashtag made in New York, or you can go to our website and find out how you can create a video that tells your story. And it's a great opportunity to use this platform to introduce more people to your company and, above all, help to fuel companies with the employees and the engineers. And our, our true hope is that perhaps a young child who's riding on the subway sees that, sees that image on the subway and says, Maybe I'll consider taking an extra math course or an extra science course and entering that field. And perhaps another engineer joins a company and helps to take it to the next level here in New York City. So we're extremely excited about this. I wanted to um, thank Commissioner Oliver for her leadership and the mayor for his leadership. Um, as well, I want to thank our many colleagues at the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment who made this possible, Roland LeBreton, Nikki Nolan, Ali Cleva. So many people contributed so much to this. And above all, uh, the 900 plus startups here in New York City who are helping to fuel this incredible momentum. We are so grateful and we're excited to welcome the hundreds and hundreds more. Thank you. Rachel, thank you. Um, New York City, as you know, is the media capital of the world, and that, for that reason it only makes sense that we should be the capital of digital media as well. Uh, BuzzFeed is certainly helping to make that true, and so is its chairman, uh, Kenneth Lehrer, whose firm Lehrer Ventures also helped fund the Huffington Post and other game-changing New York City tech startups. Uh, the one that's running this company is John Steinberg. He is the president of BuzzFeed, and hopefully he can explain to us what exactly Ben Smithing is. <laughs> John? Oh, God. Explaining uh, Ben Smithing, that's a little bit tough. Uh, but, but thank you, Mr. Mayor, for coming today, and thank you all the members of city government who are here. Uh, Jonah Peretti, our founder and CEO, and Ben Smith, our editor-in-chief, are just thrilled to have everybody here today. Over the past three years, BuzzFeed has grown from 15 employees to 215 employees, with over 80 percent of those people in New York City. The growth and success of our company happened in and is because of New York. 
New York is the center of the media world. On a daily basis, our team is meeting with the world's leading ad agencies in Midtown, other startups downtown, and our clients and partners throughout the city. Only in New York can you do five meetings in a day, put in a full day of work at your desk, and then have an unlimited choice of industry events and other cultural happenings to consume in the evening. Personally, I grew up in the city, went to business school at Columbia. There is no better place to start a technology and media company, as well as raise a family, than in New York City. With that, we worked closely with the mayor's office to create a social content ad campaign for We Are Made in New York and built one of our famous list posts called 11 Reasons to Start a Company in New York City that you can find on buzzfeed.com forward slash we are made in NY. Here are four of those reasons. Number five, there are more than 1,000 companies hiring for tech jobs in the city. Number four, New York City has more college students than Boston has people. <laughs> Number three, number three, the mayor gets it. And we, have an, and we have an animated GIF on the site showing just how much the mayor gets it. If you don't know what an animated GIF is, you really need to check out the post. Number two, venture capital deals for tech companies in New York City rose 32% between 2007 and 2011. And finally, the number one reason to start a tech company in New York, it's the center of the universe. So thank you, Mayor Bloomberg, and thank you, New York City. John, thank you. That statistic about college graduates versus the population in Boston uh, was told to me when somebody was making the case that uh, somebody in the crowd was making the case that we would never beat Boston as a tech center, and then somebody else at the table pointed that out. I assume it's true. I mean, are, are people checking? <laughs> so do I. Our next speaker is Jessica Lawrence, executive director of New York Tech Meetup, a nonprofit group that organizes networking and professional development events for thousands of tech professionals here in the city. Jessica and Tech Meetup have been great partners to the city in our efforts to help the sector go and grow and bring more digital businesses here. Jessica. Thank you, Mayor Bloomberg. We're very happy to be here today. New York Tech Meetup is a community of over 30,000 members. We grew by 10,000 members in the last year alone. So during all of this exponential growth in the New York Tech community, we've been especially proud to showcase the work of the tech companies that are truly made, coded front end and back end here in New York. New York is the center of a new generation of makers and builders who are writing our future using code. And we're especially proud to continue working with the city and the Made in New York program to showcase all of those makers and builders. And we're looking forward to having even more companies on that list of companies who can stand up and proudly say, we are made in New York. So thank you, Mayor Bloomberg, and your team for all of your work in this campaign. Jessica, thank you. And uh, lastly, LearnVest.com is a made in New York company that provides personal financial planning information. The company is also featured in one of the print ads, and its founder and CEO, Alexa Von Tobel, is here. Alexa? Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my 10-second story is uh, about three and a half years ago, I dropped out of Harvard Business School and needed to know where to start LearnVest, uh, which has an ultimate mission to provide financial planning advice to millions of people across the country and to make getting a financial plan as easy as getting a gym membership. Uh, New York could not have been a better place for me to turn to. Uh, in the last three and a half years, we've raised just under $25 million. Uh, Excel Venture Partners had actually just opened their office in New York from Palo Alto. Um, we were one of their first investments, uh, and the company has grown to just under 100 employees. Uh, we're currently on a hiring spree, uh, looking to hire everyone from financial advisors uh, to technologists to tons of interns, so definitely look our way. Um, but I truly could not be more honored uh, or grateful for everything that the mayor is doing uh, and to have LearnVest have its route to New York as a media and uh, finance company. Uh, this is the center of the universe for both. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, 
I'll just thank you, and uh, let me just try to summarize for uh, the Spanish-speaking New Yorkers. Estamos empezando una nueva campaña de multimedios para ayudar a la conectar más neuroquinos con trabajos en el tecnología y crecer la industria digital. La iniciativa incluye un nuevo sitio de Internet y una campaña de publicidad para más información. Uh, visite nagrecas.gov, and with that, we'll be happy to 